So let's say that you have a project around the house or maybe even a rigging specific application where you're gonna need cable, but you're not sure which one to choose. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to choose the right cable for your application. If you like this sort of content, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful rigging videos. So whenever it comes to selecting the right cable for your application, the first thing you wanna consider is the cable construction. If you're on our website and you're looking at the different types of cable that we have and you're paying attention to the cable name, you're going to see something that looks like a math equation and in this case it's 7 by 19. This is going to denote the cable construction and what physical properties it has and what it's going to be best used for. So in today's video we're going to break down each of these strand configurations and talk about how they differ from one another. So now we're going to jump into the different cable construction types, but be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video where we're going to bust some common cable myths. So the first cable construction that we're going to be talking about is going to be 7x19. And 7x19 is considered to be the most popular cable out there for just about every rigging application that you're going to find. From lifting to suspending to tying down flagpoles or trees, you name it, 7x19 is typically good for it, and for good reason. 7x19 is strong, it's got good flexibility, it comes in a wide variety of sizes and coating types, and you can find it just about everywhere. Next up, we're going to talk about 1x19, and if you're building a cable railing system, then 1x19 is going to be the cable for you. 1x19 is very stiff and straight running cable, and it has little to no stretch, which is why it's great for cable railing systems. It's also going to be used in a lot of marine application for standing rigging on sailboats. 7x7 cable is going to fall in between 7x19 and then 1x19 in regards to its flexibility and it's used for a lot of different general purpose applications such as stainless steel cable railings as well as marine applications. But keep in mind that here at eRigging we carry 7x7 in only the 1 16th cable diameter which is going to typically be used in picture frames or maybe even small projects around the house such as hanging out string lights. So the first coating type that we're going to talk about is going to be what's called hot dip galvanizing and basically that process is going to be where they take steel cable and then they're going to dip it in basically a molten zinc bath which is the process referred to as galvanizing. Hot dip galvanized cable is a great coating type for general purpose applications and even some marine applications but you do want to keep in mind that since it is a coating and not a material type over time that coating can gradually wear off so you want to try and periodically change it for any corrosion or rust type issues. So now let's talk about stainless steel cable and specifically type 304 stainless and then type 316 stainless. So type 304 stainless is going to be a great budget friendly corrosion resistant option whenever it comes to stainless steel cable. Now if you're looking for something that's going to be even more corrosion resistant and a little bit more expensive then type 316 is going to be the way to go. Type 316 is ideal for saltwater environments and environments near or around the ocean. Vinyl coating is a coating that's going to go over your stainless steel or galvanized cable that's going to give it an extra layer of protection against the elements. The vinyl coating is going to be a clear coating that's going to give it a very clean and smooth type appearance. One of the downsides is, is that whenever it is outside, it is prone to UV rays and dry rot in the sun. So you want to keep that in mind if you're going to be using it for any sort of stainless steel cable railings or outdoor rigging projects. So now let's bust two common myths about cable. A lot of times 7x19 cable is referred to as aircraft cable. Aircraft cable is somewhat of a generic term because the 7x19 cable construction is commonly used in aircraft, but there is a specific difference between true aircraft grade cable and then 7x19 aircraft cable. So here at eRigging, we do not carry any cable that is rated for aircraft use or aircraft controls. So if you do happen to own a plane, make sure that you're using cable that is rated for aircraft use. So the next myth that we're gonna bust is gonna be the wire rope myth. People will tend to use the two terms steel cable and wire rope interchangeably, when in fact, they're actually pretty different. So basically, steel cable is gonna only come in diameters ranging from 1 16th to 3 8 whereas wire rope is gonna come in diameters half of an inch all the way up into six inches in diameter. 
So here at eRigging, we only carry one size of wire rope, which is gonna be our half inch six by 19 hot dip galvanized wire rope. That's gonna be it for today's video. If you have any more questions on cable, let us know in the comments so we can answer those questions in future videos. And in the meantime, you can head to our website where we have a bunch more information on cable. I'm Tyler with eRigging. Thanks for watching.